Health officials in Belleville stress that the chances of the patient there having Ebola are, quote, extremely low. But they say they're still handling this case with extreme caution. Dr. Dick Zoutman is the chief of staff for Quinty Healthcare, and he took part in that press conference earlier today in Belleville. Joining me now from Kingston, Ontario, thank you so much for your time. First, let me ask you what we know about this person who was admitted. Well, it was someone who had traveled... Uh through Sierra Leone, had spent some time there, not very long, measured only in, in some hours, and then uh, traveled back to Canada, presented to our emergency department at Belleville General with symptoms of uh, some chills and some other symptoms, muscle aches and some diarrhea. Our staff, realizing the individual had been from West Africa, immediately isolated the individual and started the diagnostic process to rule out Ebola. We think the chances that it is Ebola are very, very low. Now, I understand we're seeing some reports that this person is in the military. Can you confirm that? No, I can't at this time. We, you know, we're honoring the, the patient confidentiality in that regard. Sure. Well, I know you're saying your hospital feels the chances of the person being admitted is extremely low of having a Ebola. I wonder, as you look at what happened in Dallas and what we're hearing is a protocol breach. No one knows what it is yet. This nurse who got infected was wearing her full gear. Still a mystery. I wonder how sure can you be that there wouldn't be something similar if, in fact, there was a case of Ebola in this, ho this particular case? Yes, we must be very, very vigilant. And uh, we've been doing a great deal of preparation at Quinty Healthcare around training our staff to manage this kind of exposure. But it's still a cause for concern always because Ebola is a disease we don't have a lot of experience with. Uh, we're using all of the recommended precautions, but we have to be extremely careful, particularly when taking all of the gear off, the protective equipment off. That, I think, is the moment that contamination can occur. We are hearing about the idea of a buddy system of sorts, I believe, maybe being implemented in Dallas at that hospital so that, for example, when you are taking off that gear, someone else is making sure you're doing it correctly. Is that something that should be implemented almost right away? I think so. At Quinty Healthcare, that is part of our system. So if someone uh, is, is watching you take the gear off and saying, OK, now do this, now take that off, now clean your hands and doing it in the right order. That we think is ideal. We also have a special ante room in front of the patient room where that event is occurring. Can you talk to me about the level of uh, perhaps apprehension is the best word for the healthcare workers in your hospital, given what we've seen with this nurse in Dallas and another nurse in Spain who have contracted the disease. I know you say you're taking extreme precautions. How are you dealing with the psychological impact, I wonder, with the healthcare workers? Well, the first is training and making sure that everyone has the equipment that they need, they know where it is and how to use it. Uh, and that's really basic and important. As well, we know that we have to provide information about the situation regularly to our staff, which we've done all day, to make sure that they're very aware of what's going on and that there's no surprises. And keeping them well informed and supporting them in every way we can uh, through our occupational health department and our infection control department. And again, as we talked about just now, having a buddy to help them with getting the, the gear off is also, we think, uh, pretty important. During that news conference earlier today, uh, Belleville's chief medical officer said, you know, we're apt to see more of this kind of case. We know screening's gone up at Canadian airports. We know public awareness is at an all-time high of this. Uh, what message do you want to send to the public if that's the case in the coming weeks and months? Well, I agree with Dr. Shabas. I believe that the international community needs to put every resource possible to control this outbreak of Ebola in Western Africa where it's occurring by identifying the cases, isolating the cases. Canada's played a, good, a, a big role. We need to play more of a role. And the international community needs to look at this very seriously and make sure that the funding, the billion dollars or so that the World Health Organization wanted to have in place is in place that the people are on the ground in the right numbers, in the right places to control the spread of this where it's happening. Doctor, just a final uh, question of clarification for you. When do we expect to have test results back uh, from the patient who was admitted to the hospital in Belleville? We're expecting them sometime tomorrow, and we will let everybody know what we get with those results. Okay, I really appreciate your insight on this. Thanks so much for your time today. My pleasure, anytime.